So just to be prepared, and this is something we really like all our households to have all the time, uh, a household emergency kit is a really good idea. Um, even if the power just goes out for a few days, um, it can be really hard to get food and supplies sometimes um, if the roads to Cairns are cut. So this is a good example of all the things um, that you need to have at home, um, just so that Here's a little camp stove or a little gas cooker um, so that you can cook up noodles or rice or soup or whatever you might want to eat because you won't be able to use the stove. Um, big container here with spare water in it because we might need to um, turn the city water reticulation off if we think the water might get contaminated. Um, you don't have to have a special container like that. It's a good idea in the summer to start saving um, like drink bottles um, juice containers, Coke, whatever you're drinking, have the big containers at home so you can fill them up with water um, to have that around when it gets stormy. Um, this is really important, a battery operated radio. So I'm sure lots of the students will be thinking, what's that? Um, looks like a funny old fashioned thing and it kind <laughs> of is. Um, but when the power's been out for a few days, you won't be able to recharge your phone either. Um, and we will talk to everybody on the radio from here at the coordination center with information about what's going on. So you can buy those from Target, Big W, sometimes the post office has them, as long as it runs on batteries and not power. Uh, and ideally it's got an aerial for better service. You'll be able to listen to ABC Far North and find out exactly what's going on from us all the time. So there's always a means of communication. Um, and then making sure you've got, you know, food and things that you like to eat. Um, if you have to stay at home for, for a couple of days or you can't get to the shops. Um, we always advise everybody to have spare cash because no power means if POS machines aren't working um, and after two or three days, you might want to go and buy a few more bits and pieces or some petrol. Um, and if you don't have cash, the money machines and the FPOS machines won't work. Um, and the same with things like a torch. You know, when the lights are out for days and days, it's a bit scary and it's really annoying. So it's good to have one or two torches that work on batteries. So um, this slide shows you all the things that you basically need to have in that kit. Um, and remembering things like, you know, if you have any special medication for any conditions, you know, toiletries and things that you want, you can keep all this in one of those big plastic tubs is the way we advise you to do it. Um, and then just keep it somewhere um, in the house or the apartment so you know where it is. And make sure you've got enough for everybody that's living there. Otherwise, you'll all be fighting for the, the can of noodles after a couple of days. And just yes. have food you like. These are just examples of what, um, when I was growing up, everybody talked about cans of spaghetti, which I really hate. So, um, you know, have food that you like to eat and then you'll be nice and comfortable at home.